What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here, welcoming you to a brand new video on the channel. Today, we're gonna be cracking open a box of the brand new Dragon Ball Super Miraculous Revival set. This is series five. And uh, you guys probably know if you watch all my content, because I do talk about Super Card Game all the time. It's the one card game I play in real life right now. Uh, I absolutely love it. I go to my locals as much as I can. Right now, I have a baby, so I've taken a little break. But uh, I'm deck building nonstop. This set has so much stuff in it. It has dropped today. And this was actually sent to us by Bandai, this box. It's not like a paid sponsored video, but they sent us uh, some goodies and I wanted to share some of the goodies with you by cracking open a box together. So there are 24 packs in a box. This box specifically features some of my favorite characters uh, like John Nimba, who is one of my favorite villains. I was talking to my brother-in-law about it the other day. Uh, he's such a troll. Like the fact that he's just, even my mat, I don't know if you guys, you guys can't see, you guys can only see Gogeta. John Nimba's on my mat as well. But just the fact that he's some punk kid, spoilers if you've never seen the movie, a uh, punk kid that gets messed up and turned into this crazy villain is so cool. I love him. And he reminds me, like, his psychoticness reminds me of Carnage a little bit. So I, I have a fondness for John Nimba. So there are some crazy cards in this set. Uh, John Nimba. I got to use my teeth. John Nimba. You can tell. You can tell I'm a good YouTuber. <laughs> uh, John Nimba. There's Super 17 from GT. There's... Uh, the secret rare in the pack, which is a card would be amazing to pull in this video, uh, is um, is Gogeta Super Saiyan 3 from Dragon Ball Heroes. So the super card game just like spans all universes of Dragon Ball. It's what makes it so freaking cool. Like there's a lot of super base stuff, but there's also a lot of um, non-super base stuff. And I love that. This I haven't done a, bo a box opening in so long. Bam! Also, every box does come with a promo. Uh, it comes with the Black Masked Saiyan which is, uh, I wonder who he looks like. It's pretty weird. But every single box comes with one of these. It's a nice little gift, and it's a pretty interesting card if you play the game competitively. The cool thing about the super cards is that even if you don't want to play the game, they look amazing. They're like, in my opinion, they are the best art. Uh, it could be, obviously, I have a fondness. I'm going to open this later. Uh, I have a fondness for Dragon Ball Super. Obviously, 24 packs. Let's just pull them out of the box, actually. I like doing this. Oh, that sound. Look at the and even the even the art on the on the packs is so nice. Look at that. Look at those car. Look look at them. Look at Gogeta. Oh, I love Gogeta so much. Gogeta best fusion. I don't know. That's a debate that I see all literally all the time. So before we start opening some key cards that we're looking for, I would love to pull the secret rare Gogeta Super Saiyan three. It looks phenomenal and be amazing to pull. I'd also love to pull uh, for my SPR, which is an alternate art card in this game. I'd like to pull John Nimba. That would be the one I really want because I want to build a John Nimba deck at some point. And I'm, I'm kind of one of those kids that wants to have all the SPRs, all the highest rarity possible. Uh, other really good cards to see like common uncommon foils. I'd love to see World Peace, which I think is arguably the best card in the set or the most versatile at the very least. Um, it's got to be top five cards, 100%. I, th I think so. I'd be shocked. It's, it, it really depends on if the Shenron leaders are really, really good. This might sound like mumbo jumbo to you. Let me go ahead. I'm going to slide these packs over and start cracking them open one at a time. Do my best to stay on camera. Like I said, um, world peace. Any other foils? I mean, any super combos foil would be great. Uh, I love those. And what's cool about this set is that if you played early on, they gave a lot of support to a lot of different things. You can see, bam, androids getting support right here uh, with Vile Creator. We're not going to go over every single card. I'm going to kind of just try to my best to show them off in focus and talk about the rares and the uh, the super important cards in this set this light is driving me bonkers there we go we just got to stay right there just got to stay right there that's it okay so that's a super combo i would like to see that in foil actually uh i really would like to see that foil call of justice bitter past ginyu okay so we got a foil quick thinking go tanks which so uh, not every pack every pack doesn't come with an uncommon or common foil um i think it's a total of eight packs in the box do I'm not sure how good this card is. It draws when it attacks, and when you union with it, uh, you draw two, which, so I think union should have always been that, but, so you're ditching two cards. It's crit, and it draws. So it's not terrible. It's not bad. Uh, it's a cool card. And a rare in the pack. Yes! Okay, I love this card. I'm going to talk about this card, actually. This card is so interesting. It's a two-drop Gohan track suit, of course, slack suit, wax suit. And uh, what it does, it has barrier, so it can't be targeted by effects. They say choose. And also, it restands two other battle cards other than this, two other yellow battle cards specifically. So, uh, I think that's freaking awesome. Look at the foil patterning. Oh, this is just a rare. This is just a rare. So sick. But this used to be a leader effect in set one. So now it's on a battle card, which I think is really cool because it gives me hopes that maybe Vados' effect from set one will be on a battle card soon and make all my battle cards able to attack active cards, but it's all good. Uh, it's all good. 
Uh, well, actually, Vados Effect is already on battle cards because it's not all your cards. It's just the fact that the leader can attack. Never mind. Never mind. Regardless, this was a set one leader. This was a Frieza leader effect. And I think I really want to build a deck around that card. I would love to bring more super content to the channel. So if you guys do enjoy uh, seeing Dragon Ball Super cards or you want to learn how to play the game, uh, let me know and we can start a series up. You just leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know. Say, hey, I'm interested. I like this game. I want to play so such and such. So we feisty cheesy, cheap chi chi. Like I said, this goes through all the Dragon Ball universes. We got Dragon Ball in this set. We got Super. We got the Dragon Ball Z movies. There's so much. Infernal Villainy. So like I was saying, pass support. This is now an Android card that is just like Unbreakable. Unbreakable Goku, when you combo with it, allows you to draw a card. And this does the same exact thing. When you combo or play it, draw a card. So really, really solid. Shu Trusted Lackey. Ready Stance, Sun Goku, Infernal Fighter Nap. Oh, do we have a good card in this pack? We might. Child, oh, I thought I would love a foil, a foil of this. This is another card that I think is really good in the set. Really, really solid. Sideline Assist Bulma. And we have, oh, Oolong always wanting more. This is a leader. So uh, you need, you want at least one of each leader, uh, which is which is good. We'll see how many leaders we actually get, how many rare leaders, but you really only need one. The other rares you obviously want more of because you, you can play up to four cards in your deck, but leaders you only use one because they're your leader. I know, craziness, right? So crazy, so crazy. Let's crack open another pack, 24 packs. Oh my gosh. All right, let's, 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 try, to, let's try to hustle, baby. Let's try to hustle. Look at this. Veku! So chunky. Okay, Trusted Lackey, Dimension Magic. Really, this would be amazing to see foil as well. Uh, one of the best negates in the game, if not the best negate in the game now. Oh wow, if I just rest my hand, it's like in focus. It's not as close as I would like, but it's in focus, and that's that's pretty much all you can ask for. Uh, shocking Death Ball. Super Saiyan, oh, oh, these cards, oh, they do come not, oh, so that's our rare already? Oh wait, if this is our rare, oh, there's no card behind it, Never mind. I thought we had another card. I was like, what? Uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, no holding back. It's a rare with sparking five, which means it only activates when you have five cards in your drop and it KOs a battle card. I believe it KOs a battle card. Yep, you can choose any card, any battle card and KO it. And it has barrier and double strike. So interesting that they're doing, I love the sparking mechanic. So Super tries to introduce uh, new uh, mechanics every, I think it's every two sets. So sparking is one of the new ones. And basically if you have X amount of cards in your drop, you can go ahead and activate some dope effects. Tiny Warrior Son Goku. Frieza Biding His Time. Dimension Magic. He Barrage Trunks. Hilaf Leader Crew. Super Saiyan Goku. Tribe Tian Shin Han. Personal Ambition. I think I saw a uh, good edge. South Ki Kai keep watching. Personal Ambition Foil. All right. It's a desire card, so it has potential. But if your leader card is a Shenron card. Oh, it doesn't even have to be L Shenron. Draw one card, then choose the one of your energy and switch to active mode. So it's a free, it's a completely free uh filter i wouldn't call it it's not a plus one but it's a completely free filter because you pay one yellow you can untap an energy and you could it's also energy manipulation so it might have some more value and there's another leader we have super 17 evil entwined so in case you don't know leaders have um front side and a back side this is their awakened or wished side now that wish is a new mechanic in the game but i do want to try toying around with this leader i don't know how much potential it has it doesn't seem super high uh, but you never know. I, it's cool. Like some of the most basic stuff, the leader isn't, is in the starter deck. Um, but some of the most basic, uh, stuff in the set right now that people are building around is the Shenron leader. Cause it's really, really good. Like it's, it's, it's by good. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's simple and di like, you know what your win con is when you're playing that leader. It's much like super Saiyan three. We're like, it's not training wheels like Super Saiyan 3 was, but it's 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 pretty close. Deadly Defender, nice. So these cards, these are all rares. Every color got one in this set. And basically they have barriers, so they can't be selected by your opponent's effects. They have to be attacked in order to be killed or removed with something that ignores barrier. Barrier is like a shield around your card. And basically when this card is in rest mode, it loses 5K and your opponent can't attack your leader. So it's kind of just like a follow me target. Uh, much like the Vegito in the Ultimate Box, but every single color has one now. Blue has two technically because of Vegito. Vegito is a little different because it only has barrier when it's rested, so it can be messed with until then. But either way, you're gonna you're gonna attack with those uh, as soon as you get them on the board. You're gonna get them in rest mode as soon as possible. Uh, Soul Punisher with Adventurous Son Goku. Look, Dragon Ball card. Told you guys everywhere. Every single ugh, the art in this the art in this game is so good. Infernal Emperor Freeze is another really good card. I'd love to get foil. Uh, physical Mastery Oob. Ooh, 
yes! Our SP, okay, okay, I'll take it. Our SPR, I was just looking at this card. I'm brewing a, um, a Shenron deck based around this card. This card is really interesting. So it has the flex, so it can't be bloodlusted, which is one reason why I really want to play it. And basically, it KOs all battle cards in the field, which is kind of nuts. Um, KOs all of your opponent's battle cards if your leader card is green Shenron. So you can only play it with one leader right now. Maybe in sets, uh, the next set, they'll, they'll release some more Shenron leaders, and then there'll be a green one, hopefully. But uh, burst five, you have to mill five, and KO all of your opponent's cards, and then you gain dual attack as well. So it's a double strike dual attack for burst five, and uh, it turns off barrier. So if cards had barrier, this couldn't K KO them, but then it turns it off. So technically, if you manage to play two of them, you can go ahead and, and kind of pop off, or you can just get rid of barrier and use a cheaper card to remove some of your opponent's cards. So I think it's a really interesting card. Super solid SPR. Super Saiyan 4 is like is one of my favorite forms. It gets so much hate, but it's one of my favorite forms. Now, I'm not sure if that means because we pulled an SPR, we can't pull the secret rare. I'm really not sure. Uh, so if we pull it, that's going to be super hype, seeing an SPR and a secret rare. Look at this. Look at this real though. 30k 3 drop. That's the new standard for 3 drops. We got a Dragon Ball, which this would be a great card to get foil too, because uh, a lot of decks need seven of them, and then the boys are Oh, we pull! So this is the regular version. So that's what I was talking about. SPR is an alternate art, and this is the regular Super Saiyan 4 Son Goku Twin Onslaught. So same as that card we just read, just different art. Uh, I like them both. I do like being able to see the full Goku, but the golden background of the last card is really, really, really nice as well. I think we've only opened, opened like five packs. We got to cook. We got to cook, dude. You guys are going to be here all day. You guys, and you guys got you guys got things to do. I understand. You're just here to see the shiny cards uh, and maybe hear my thoughts on some of them. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you don't want to hear my thoughts. Maybe you just uh, could care less. If you think I'm looking at the screen too much, it's because I can see the cards there much easier than looking down, except when I'm reading effects. So we have Military Commander, Commander, or Military Command, Frieza, as our foil in this pack, which is, has a blocker. And when this card is KO'd, choose the one Frieza card with an energy three from your hand and play it. So it's a two drop that gets replaced by a three drop from your hand. If it was from your drop, I'd be a little more interested, but it's from your hand and it's a blocker. So basically you're gonna get this card KO'd, whether your opponent KOs it by you blocking with it or they use an effect to KO it. You're gonna get a three drop from your hand to the board. So that's a, that's a cool card for sure. And then we have Oblivious Rampage Sun Goku. Uh, it's evolved to red, critical, activate mean. First three, so you have to mill three from your deck to your drop, and then you can go ahead and KO one of your opponent's battle cards and then restand this card. So it's pretty good. The fact that it's a three drop that can KO one of your opponent's battle cards is actually really niche. Not a lot of three drops do that right now. Not a lot at all. Obviously it comes at a cost. You have to KO one of your battle cards. So it's very thematic, right? Rampaging monkey, build his grandpa spoilers, and uh, you gotta KO a friend to KO your opponent, and you get to restand. So you can not be rested if you don't want to. And he's got crit. So it's, it's, a, pretty, it's a pretty cool card. I'd like to use it just to see how well it does. You can play it on turn two. Um, in many different ways, you could play it on turn two, whether it's with uh, a child's wish or actually evolving it for two red. Dende new to the job. Yes! Oh, baby! This was the card I wanted to pull foil! You guys don't understand. So, I will go ahead and say that I think this foil is probably going to be worth at least 20 bucks. I'm going to, it's, 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 it's an uncommon and it's a foil. So, it's probably going to be worth 20 bucks because foils are just always worth more. World piece itself probably worth like a quarter, but pulling a foil version of these of this is so nice. And then we have another Shenron leader, uh, the yellow leader I'm actually building around. Starts out actually as sorbet, some nice dessert. And then we have Frieza, uh, resurrected emperor. All the Shenron leaders have Shenron. They have Wish in the top left corner instead of Awaken. Uh, this card is really cool because you can tap down two of your opponent's energy using its big effect. I think it's at, it's I think it's the second best leader when it comes to the Shenron leaders. Uh, it has access to Bloodlust. So it arguably even wins that matchup against your opponent if you build correctly. So I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting to see how the meta shapes out for sure. I'm so pumped I pulled that foil, man. I'm so pumped I pulled World Peace foil. Give me another one. Give me another one. I want a play set of foil so I can just build with it and flash it around. Super 17 to further heights. This is a rare barrier deflect. So it has barrier can't be chosen and deflect means when it first gets played, your opponent can't play counter play cards. Union Absorb for four. You can take a cell from your hand or drop area and place it under this card. Choose one Super 17 with energy cost of six from your deck or drop area. See, I like that. Deck or drop is much better than hand. Uh, and play it on top of this card. Then shuffle your deck if you looked through it. 
And it's great though, because it's from your drop. I know it's cell chain. A common problem I always had was that like, I draw my pieces and once I draw them, I gotta get them back in the deck. But the fact that I can do it from the drop means that I can go ahead and uh, just combo with it or ditch it with something. Ditch it with a uh, create Android if you're playing an Android deck. So really, really nice. There's another military command. Of course, this one's not foil. Hey, world peace. How you doing? How you doing, world peace? I really like you. I like the way you look. I like the way you taste. I like everything about you. You're a good guy. I like I take you out to dinner and maybe I buy you dessert and I take you home and I we could watch the notebook together. It'd be great. Dragon Radar. So this is a great rare to get. Uh, this is going to be a pretty common card in the Shenron decks, I think, mainly because it's utility. You can go ahead and reuse. It, it, it has optional effects. It can do two different things, which I really like cards that give you options. You can look the top seven cards of your deck, find two Dragon Balls and add them to your hand, or you can choose up to a total of two Dragon Ball or Desire cards from your drop area and add them to your hand. So it's really cool about this card is even if you even if you get this early game, and say you're playing Shenron, um, this is a plus one essentially because you can use Shenron's ability to lead or ability to search your deck for two Dragon Balls, add them to your hand, and then use them, and then use Dragon Ball Radar if you want, and get those two Dragon Balls right back, and then draw two more cards. So you filter a total of four cards by only using three, so it's a plus one technically. Uh, I think it's a really good card. It's just a rare, so it's probably going to be worth a couple bucks. So it's going to be a staple. I think it's going to be a staple of at least like a two of, maybe not a, not a, not a four of, but probably a two of, depending on the deck, and maybe not. Maybe it's not your play style. But the fact that you can also use it to reuse uh, World Peace really makes it, I think really makes it good. Dr. Mew evil. Dr. Mew is getting support, man. That was really weird. Ready stance, ready stance, right after each other. But this one's the foil version, so that's nice. It's a blocker barrier Goku, so I don't mind getting that. It's 5K. I don't think there's any 5K Vegeta's printed yet. I could be wrong, but I don't think there is. And then we have Combo Mecha Peel of Machine. When this card is KO, choose the one of each peel off leader of the crew, Chu and Mai from your drop area and play it. So it's a pretty cool. It's a four drop that once it gets KO'd, you get three battle cards in the field. They're not like the best battle cards, but they're they're pretty cute. They're fun to use. So I think it's a cool little archetype. It's probably like a tier four, or tier five archetype, but still, I like that it exists. Uh, sure Strike Sun Gohan. Master Roshi all warmed up. Listen, with, Roshi, with Roshi's uh, track record, I don't know if I want him all warmed up. I'm not sure if I really, Negotiator Krillin is, this would be a great card to get foil. I really like this card. I'm gonna talk about it real quick. When you combo this card from your battle area, you take a card in your opponent's combo area and put it to the drop. So basically if they combo with super card or any 10K card, you can go ahead and combo with this. And this counts as basically a 15K combo from the battle area. And it's a great turn one. Um, it's even an okay turn two if you play with another one drop and has barriers, so it's pretty much gonna stay there unless your opponent can attack active battle cards like the deck I'm making. Uh, bitter Pass Ginyu, and then we got an SR! Ghost Rampage Super Saiyan Go Tanks. So this is a really cute card. Uh, it has barrier and double strike. When you uh, burst five, when you play this card, if you mill five, choose up to 100 of your opponent's battle cards. 20,000 power or less and return them to their owner's hand. So unfortunately, it's choose, so it doesn't ignore barrier. I would ignore barrier. I think this card would see play. I think it would be a staple. I think it would actually probably end up being a three or four of in blue decks because getting to just, I mean, it'd be, it would probably be broken. Man. Yeah, I guess it would be broken if it ignored barrier. I would like it if, it, if some of it, if maybe not all 100 ignored barrier, but choose one card uh, ignoring barrier and then 99 not ignoring barrier. That would be great. I would like that. Oh, I see something in the back. I just saw something in the back. Who are best pal, death ball, negotiator, Krillin. If I hit the mic one more time, I'm gonna foam. Ginyu, non-foil, fortunately. Uh, full surveillance, Jaco, and then Yamcha at 100%. So this is a really cool card. 19K, they've been introducing 19Ks in this set, I believe was the first set. They're really, they're really going hard with it. But activate me in once per turn, you can mill five. Then if your leader is a red earthling, Card. For the duration of the turn, this card gains 6,000 power, so it goes to 25k. Uh, its attack cannot be negated, which is really, really strong, because uh, you can build a Shenron, well, you can't build the Shenron deck around it, because you need to be a red uh, red leader, and the Shenron Shenron leader is not red. But it can't can have attack negated, and then when it, uh, it deals two damage to your opponent's life when it KOs an opponent's battle card. So the new Yamcha leader can allow this card to gain 5k and attack active battle cards, so it would be a 30k attack. Your opponent cannot negate and that you deal two life onto it. So it's a good, it could be a good finisher in that deck. It's only three drop two. 
which is really, really nice. Three, three is not expensive. It can't be played with uh, chain attack, unfortunately, uh, which it feels bad, but I think that's also very important. I think it would be uh, a little bit too good if you could chain attack that out. Um, is ways to cheat, ways to cheat out finishers. I mean, there are other finishers to cheat out. Oh, look at this card, guys. Shenron the Wish Granter. So this is another SR, uh, super good. Um, I, I say super good in the fact that its effects are really good. When you play this card, if you have seven cards in your drop, uh, first of all, this card can't attack, which is a drawback, obviously, but if you have seven cards in your drop, you draw two cards uh, and then choose one of these options. Choose it to four of your energy and untap them. Uh, choose one battle card, energy cost three or less from your drop and play it. Or choose one of your leader cards or battle cards and it gets 15,000 power and triple strike till the end of the turn. So really good on cards. You can use that last effect to kind of close out a game once again. That Yamcha that can't have its attack negated, you can give him triple strike. There are other cards that can't have their attacks negated, like uh, three drop Kaba from, I believe it's Tournament of Power. Can't have its attack negated, so that's another option to give a triple strike. And when you combine this card with uh, your Shenron leader, you can go ahead and give something triple strike and give it triple attack. So really, really clean way to close out a game. If you have something that can't be negated or better yet, the Kaba that says your opponent can't activate ca uh, counters, that way, but Fuba can't mess you up. So that's an option for a, uh, a deck focus, in my opinion, is Kaba. Because uh, it's a three drop, so it's pretty easy to pretty pretty easy to accomplish that. Honestly, it's not it's not that hard. They can't activate negate, and then your Kaba's gonna be 35, 45k, triple strike, triple attack. There are stronger options like obviously Super Saiyan Flash 4, which happens on I think it can happen on turn four or turn three, honestly. Um, which is kind of dangerous. Ah, Deadly Defender. So this is the yellow version of those blocker cards that I was talking about. When it's rested, your opponent cannot attack the leader. It's a Frieza, which is really, really awesome because it has a lot of different utility in this game, being both a Frieza and a Frieza clan. That archetype uh, got a nice... That archetype got a really nice buff this set. Got a really, really nice buff. I think, anyway, I could be wrong. What do I know? I've only been playing this game since day one. But have you won any, uh, no, I haven't gone to any big tournaments because I have a, have other stuff going on, unfortunately. Kick Barrage Piccolo. Maybe I'll go someday. Once per turn, choose two cards from your life and add them to your hand. Choose all of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, 15,000 power or less, and KO them. So this is cool. It can KO a bunch of rested things, but nothing with barriers. So that's always a drawback to me. And you have to pay two life to do so. Then we have Resolute Strength Sun Goku, which is a rare. And I love Super Saiyan 3 so much. It evolves for one blue on top of a... Uh, blue Super Saiyan Son Goku with an energy. Oh wow, it has to be a Super Saiyan Son Goku. Wait, what? I feel like that might be a misprint. I've never seen a Super Saiyan Son Goku in the bottom right corner because usually that refers to the bottom right uh, trait. Well, not trait, but the thing right above trait. Name, character name. But I've never seen Super... Maybe there is. I'll have to look through this set. Maybe there's something that it can evolve on top of. That's interesting. Um, I guess it only costs one to evolve. So it would make sense if it's very restricted. First five. Uh, choose one card in your life. Place it in your drop area. Then choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost two or less. Ignoring barrier and place it in the bottom of its owner's deck. Then choose the one deadly defender Vegeta from your deck or drop area and play it. Wow. So it does a lot. It does a lot. It KOs something that's two or less. Ignoring barrier. And it summons something from your deck or drop from you, for you, which is really cool. Um, all for one blue. It's a turn three play or a turn two play if you're playing um, Starter Coup, because you can, I just have to see. It's blue Super Saiyan Sun Goku. There's gotta be something very specific. Maybe that, um, maybe the card, that's a 20K, a two drop 20K. It's gonna bother me if I don't look for it right now. I know we've pulled it. Pulled it early on, actually. Pulled it very, very early on. Let's see. This is not, that's just Sun Goku. Ready stance. Okay. Super Saiyan Sun Goku. So it's literally this card. That four drop can only evolve on this card, which costs two blue. That's a little, that might be too restricted to ever be played. Um, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. We shall see. Okay. Vexing Outcome Beku. I love seeing Vexing. There's the Yamcha leader I was talking about. Uh, power Bust. Krillin raring to fight. 
Quick Obstruction Whis. Ventress Son Goku, Child's Wish, Colonel M. Full surveillance. Super Saiyan Son Goku. Savage Shisami with our is our foil. Um, that feels a little bad for sure. When you play this card, if your leader card is Freeze Army card, choose the two of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier and switch into rest mode. I mean, that's actually not terrible. Resting two barrier cards. Um, depending on the rest of your deck build. It's a four drop though, which is kind of harsh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you have the combo where now that they're rested, you still can't choose them with another effect. Our rare is a John Nimba leader. So we've pulled one of each rare leader now. And no more, which is good. It, it's tough because resting a, resting a barrier card is just like, okay, now I need to attack it with things. Um, I didn't get rid of barriers, so I can't pop it or anything. Uh, Infernal Messenger. Righteous Heart Sun Gohan. Um, I know I said that I think that the big boy effect of the yellow Shenron leader is probably the best, but Righteous Sun Gohan has support that makes it not that this leader itself is the best, but the support it has might make it the best leader because you can restand your leader. Uh, it's the only leader right now that can restand in the game. Well, that's not true. There's a Goku in the, in the first that the game's dual attack. Deadly Defender Android 18. This is another one of those cards. When it's rested, your opponent cannot attack leader. It's an Android. It becomes a two drop in the 1718 deck when you're awakened, which is insane. Absolutely insane. And it's 20K, 25K when attacking and 20K when it's not. But the blue Gohan leader has to, has a really cool kit that makes it able to restand multiple times by using an extra card. Obviously, it's going to take a lot of energy, but you can set it up semi easily to get at least three attacks off with that with crit. And it's just kind of nutty. It can it can it can win you the game for sure. Physical mastery, ooh, great Saiyan man, infernal, shocking death ball, spirited search, Super Saiyan trunks. Really nice card. Uh, when you play this card, if your life is five or more, choose the two Dragon Ball cards from your deck and place them in your drop area, which is very good. As you may once per turn when your life is at four or less. So it works with late game and early game. There's two different effects. I love that. Cards that are flexible like this that are good early game and late game, we need more of those. I really like this card. When your life is at four or less, choose one green or black desire card from your drop area and add it to your hand. So this, once again, this is like a built-in radar uh, for the green Saiyan deck. I think that's really, really nifty. I like it a lot. And the fact that when it's early, if it's early game and you need to get some Dragon Ball so you can start wishing and drawing more cards, really good card. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to build that deck actually, just for funsies, just for funsies, see how it goes. I'm so pumped to play this game with my friends. I, I love, I love it. I'm obviously not gonna be able to go to tournaments for a little bit since our baby was just born, but there's our SR, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. But I'm really pumped to just find some new brews and, and see how this game uh, evolves with this new set. Blocker, Double Strike Barrier, so three really good effects. Uh, mainly Barrier Blocker is really nice. During your turn, this card gets plus five, oh, gets minus 5,000 power, so it's 15K on my turn. Once per turn, burst five, you can switch this card to active mode. So you can give yourself dual attack by milling, which in some decks, milling is, is actually good. So, of course, with John Nimba running around, who knows how, but look at how pretty this card is. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So pretty. All right, we have three packs left. We're almost done, boyos. We're almost done. Uh, either one of these is gonna have an SCR or we can't get an SCR and an SPR in the same box. Or, I mean, we also just didn't get the SCR. That's completely possible. Vicious Lackey, Power Burst, Adventure Sun Goku, Defensive Stance, Divine Cry, Dragon Ball, North Kai, Bitter Past. This is our, wait, this is our rare. Wait a minute. Does that mean? Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. I thought we got I thought we got the SCR for a second, but this is our rare. We've already seen it. And then we have Gogeta Hero Revived. This card is absolutely bonkers. Uh, this is in my top five cards of the set for sure. One one just for the art. Like just look at this art. It's insane. So good throwing that Punisher, Soul Punisher. Triple Strike Union Fusion for five. Barrier and deflect. So you can't bloodlust this Gogeta. You cannot bloodlust it. Um, sparking 10, if you have 10 in the drop, your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck and draws three cards. You thought Cell was bad. Then again, this is a this is a five energy play. Don't get me wrong, it's five energy play. Uh, but still, but still, I can do this on turn five, use a Kid Trunks to untap an energy and then just say go. Or just have my negate that untaps energy and just say go. Um, and put you down to three cards in your hand. That's insane. I don't even need to attack with this yet. I could just put you down to three. I gotta make a deck with this card. I, I can't believe I haven't been brewing with that yet. I, you know what it is? It's just so so apparently good. But a lot of people have just been focused on making a Shenron deck and saying, haha, look, I can do lots of things. But can you do lots of things? My trusted lackey, Yamcha, 
Dimension Magic, this is the negate I was talking about. You have Dimension Magic in hand. You can be tapped out. It don't matter. Take a life. You take a life. Now, for that, for that Gogeta, you also have to take a life. And we have King Piccolo Terror Unleashed. You also have to take a life for that Gogeta. So, it is a steep requirement. You need to have five or more energy. Choose one card from your life and crit yourself. Put it in your drop area. So, it's, it, it's going to be fun to build around. King Piccolo Terror Unleashed. Uh, activate me in once per turn. Sparking 10. You need 10 in your drop. Choose one King Piccolo Terror Unleashed or King's Return to Youth from your drop area and add it to your uh, and send it to your warp. If your leader card is a red Shenron card, switch this card to active mode. So it can basically have a faux dual attack by doing something. Uh, activate me once per turn. And it becomes a three drop if a King's Return to Youth is in your drop area. So that's pretty cool that it's a three drop 20k with dual attack, but it, it's, it's, it's a little underwhelming for sure. I hope this R-Type gets more support to be viable because otherwise that card is very, 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 very underwhelming. Our final pack is a Super 17 pack. Super 17. Can we get the SCR on the very last pack? I would love it. I feel like I'm not going to, though. Uh, I feel a sad, I feel sad pandas. Right. Dark Power Black Mass Saiyan, Spirited Search Pan, King Yemma Soul Supervisor, Shu Trusted Lackey, Master Roshi, Dragon Ball Seeker Bulma, Dende new to the job, After Image Technique, Endless Malice, Tribeam Tian Shinhan. Another Shu! Wow, Shu is getting his time to shine, boys. Shu is getting his time to shine. Uh, choose it to one my trusted lackey from your deck. Play it once per turn. So pay one. So play this on turn two. You could play your your my for 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 for, for free. And then we have Phantom Strike. John Nimba is our rare. This is our first one in the in the pack. This card is cool. Critical or in this box rather. When this card is sent from the battle area to a warp, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to its owner's warp. Then look at the bottom card of your deck and add it to one John Nimba card from it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Activate main, send this card to the warp. So basically all that's going to happen as soon as you activate main, or if this gets into the warp in some other fashion. Um, if your opponent has four or more energy and John Nimba card isn't in play in your battle area, choose up to one John Nimba card with energy cost of five from your hand and play it. So basically... As soon as you send this to the warp, your auto is going to trigger. You're going to grab a John Nimba from the bottom of your deck if you stacked it uh, using various effects that the John Nimba archetype does. And then you can just play it right away. So pretty, pretty cool, honestly. You play four, you can swing with this and then activate this, send it to your warp and get another John Nimba out, which is really nice. So that's why I want to build a John Nimba deck. Unfortunately, we did not see the John Nimba SR. Uh, I'm going to have to make sure I scoop some of those up manually uh, or pull some more packs. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to show some shady loves that thumbs down below, especially if you want to see more super content on the channel. And of course, let me know if you play. Let me know what you play, what cards you love the most out of the set. I'm considering doing a top 10 cards from series five video. If you guys want to see that, just leave hashtag top 10 in the, in the comments and I'll know you're interested with that though. I'm going to get the hashtag out of here. Once again, thank you Bandai so much for sending me this box and all the goodies you did send me. I really appreciate it. And I love this game so much. Have yourselves a fantastic day, but above all else, keep it shady. Thank you.